Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Aston Villa up against Tottenham Hotspur. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And here's the starting 11 for Aston Villa. Diego Carlos plays alongside Tyrone Mings in central defence. Coutinho plays with Leon Bailey in the wide areas. And the striker of choice today is Danny Ings. Well clattered away. Interception to snuff out the danger. That is not going to do well wide of the target. And the starting 11 for Spurs. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Rodrigo Bentancur plays alongside Pierre-Emile Hoybier in central midfield. And the main striker today is Harry Kane. What a bad result it was for Spurs in their last match against Arsenal. Oh, Derek, what a moment this could be. In it goes! That will do nicely for starters. First goal of the game. Well, here it is again, and they've taken their goal well, but the defending was non-existent. That should never happen. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Given away by Tottenham. Dejan Kulusevski. Good visualisation and execution. Decent position. Fabier, can they convert? Well, trying to place it, but without any great success. Well, maybe went for the wrong technique. If he'd have hit it with power, may have got a better result. That's a poor effort, really. Classic example of how to intercept. Ramsey. Douglas Luiz. On to McGinn. It's an excellent looking attack from Coutinho. But will they be able to produce from this position? This could level it. And danger still. Well, it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Well, that was a great save. But the way they're playing at the moment, the equaliser can't be far away now. And that puts them in position. Kane. And he's got to clear his lines. Promising move from Tottenham. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Kane and players waiting in the centre can he do it? well there's a keeper on song well how did he stop that? that's just unbelievable and taken short Son on to Davis 
making sure it didn't get past him Bailey Douglas Luiz a foul it most certainly was free kick given and don't forget we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV it's Aston Villa facing Bournemouth and a goal the equaliser superb entertainment Well, just look at this. He's so alive to the situation. That's a neat-headed goal in the end. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Might be able to produce from this position. Kane. Song. Quite simply, an opportunity wasted. Easy for the keeper. Coutinho. Not the pass he had in mind. A Spurs free kick it's going to be. And fired from the flank into the area. Well clattered away. Fabier. Not a shame that he couldn't find the target from there. Well, the stats tell you everything. Their finishing just hasn't been good enough. They've controlled much of the game, but they need to start taking some of these opportunities. Hey, Pierre. Spurs pushing forward with options available. Song. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Superb block. Ings. Counter attacking, very much an option. And space to cross it. McGinn. Well, it's ended up being, quite frankly, easy for the keeper. Well, he should be hitting the back of the net. That's a poor effort. Fabier. Son. Excellent defending. Fabier. Now with Emerson. Son and return to Kane. Must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? Well, I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. Diego Carlos. Emerson. High quality defending. And a chance for them to nudge in front. And up for grabs off the keeper. And it goes! At the second time of asking, and the keeper feels hung out to dry.
Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it dropped straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2 1. Tyrone Mings. It's an excellent looking attack from Coutinho, but will they be able to produce from this position? An unforced error, you've got to say. Emerson. Now Son. And now with Kulusevsky. Poibier in position. A sloppy pass. Oh, he's really opened them up here. And Son is in. And it's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision. And suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Well, there we have it. That's going to be all for the first half here in the Midlands. So the ball is moving again. Spurs having already made a big first half statement here. Look at Dinia. The inside route looking promising. A oh, very effective play, and they might be onto something. Danny Ings. McGinn. It's with Douglas Luis. Bentancourt. Romero. Oh, he's given it away. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Tottenham Hotspur facing Everton. Danny Ings. On to Bailey. A poor cross, all things considered. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Kane. Will it be Harry Kane? Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. And the substitution will occur now. Elects to go short. Emiliano Buendia. An effective pass by Coutinho. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Sessegnon.
And intercepted there. Surely, and a goal! Wonderful stuff as they accelerate away from the opposition. Well, here it is again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. Defending going on in the grand scheme of things, 4-1. Bentancourt. And Hoybier with it. An important interception. Emerson. Oh, he looks threatening. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. So making the substitution now. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. And a no-nonsense clearance. Tire. And not an effort that will live long in the memory. Well, the defenders will be relieved because that was a good chance. From that sort of distance, he should really be hitting the target. It was a really poor attempt in the end. Untidy in possession. Kane. Now Son. Bentancourt. From a long way out. Well, trying his luck from a long way out. But the keeper saw it all the way. John McGinn. Wendia. Douglas Luis. Going well. Can he find the net? Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Well, as you can see, Spurs have completely controlled the possession and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Kane. Kane. Twenty minutes remaining. And they need to get tighter here. But they took care of the situation defensively. Had a play for a Spurs throw in. Coming off the pitch, 21, Dijan Kalufsky, to be replaced by number 14, Ivan Perisic. Ivan Perisic. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Well, these fans are making for the exits now. Their team have been totally outplayed today. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Now showing excellent vision. And a fine stop. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. Ben Davis to be replaced by... Number six, Davinson Sanchez. They take it short. And a useful cross. And into the last 15 minutes of action. And given away, Buendia. McGinn. Well, that's a well-timed pass. Oh, good work by the keeper. Playing it in, and no way through. No foul, Spurs advantage. Well, they might be onto something. 
And possibilities here. Chance for Son. And he's fired it against the post. Well, threat averted. Look at Dinia. He's given it straight to the opposition. Well, almost at full time, and it really has gone swimmingly for Spurs. Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Watkins. McGinn. Well, the supporters think it's on. Well, as he hit that one, it looked as though it had a chance. Number seven, Hopkins made the sun. Coming onto the pitch, number nine, Michelle Ensign. Emerson. And successfully cut out. Rebier. And a pass that lacks quality. Bailey. Determined defending. Richarlison. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Danny Ings. Can he finish? And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at their best. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer. But you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Javier. It's a weighted pass. Richarlison. Can they stop it going in? And the referee blows his whistle. It's full time here, and Spurs have prevailed. Your assessment? Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals, and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. As usual, Harry Kane, difficult to defend against. What did you make of what he actually did out there on the pitch? Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.